I'm analyzing rare once in a lifetime encounters that you would never believe are true. In other words, videos that have captured situations that shouldn't exist. Number 13. These two motorists are driving around in the UK when one of them looks up in the sky and pulls over. They stare at the clouds for about 15 seconds and nothing happens. Then, just when they are about to give up, an unknown object appears immediately in front of them. It drifts into a cloud and some kind of electric reaction happens. Lightning goes off and then a weird semi-transparent rectangular object floats to the ground. The video is very low quality, so either this was taken a long time ago with a bad camera, or else it was probably edited. Either way, I must find out more about what was in that sky. Number 12. This video of a shaky, alien-looking pod looks like it really shouldn't exist anywhere on planet Earth, let alone some random person's basement. The way it moves from left to right without being touched makes me think that some strange life form is about to burst forth. Most of the comments agree that this could be some sort of egg or cocoon with a foreign host inside. Note how strange furry hair seems to protrude from sections of its hardened exterior, further indicating that this is in fact a living organism of some kind. The video ends before we can see what hatches. But whatever it is, I just hope it isn't something that is harmful. Number 11. Daniel lives way out in the country, and rather than paying someone to remove the leaves around his house, he chooses to burn them instead. He stands at the edge of a controlled fire and takes this quick video. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot far. Oh yeah, a lot far. Off the distance, a two-legged creature about the same size as Daniel sprints away in the opposite direction as fast as it can. Keep in mind that Daniel lives out in the Oklahoma wilderness and has no neighbors. I really can't think of any forest animal that looks like this, so maybe the controlled burn accidentally flushed out a rare humanoid creature. With no other footage of the creature, we will probably never know what it truly is. Number 10. Danny keeps noticing footprints in the snow leading up to his house, wide and spaced far apart. He checks his CCTV system only to discover whatever is making the tracks is apparently invisible. Seven seconds into the video, snow patches fly up for no reason at all. Danny suspects that this is a ghost because absolutely nothing was nearby. The long tracks do kind of look like someone kicking their feet as they are being dragged, but I'm not sure what to think, so maybe you can help me decide. Number 9. It's 1.40 in the morning and two friends are cruising down a dark road, completely unable to see what's on the other side. They both think that they spot movement in the trees, and having nothing better to do, they pull over and shine their headlights into the area. Nothing happens for some time, and then a figure slowly emerges from the dry brush. One of them says that they think this is a witch, and I agree that could be a possibility. They are dressed in all black and hunched over holding what appears to be a walking stick. If this is not fake and that's not a third friend, then I can't imagine what anybody would be doing walking in complete darkness all alone, especially so late at night. Number 8. Joe Rob TV sees something on the side of the road that's so creepy, he isn't even sure if he was imagining it or not, so he has to take a second look. This time he has his camera ready to record. What the f Oh, what the f Oh, what the f The strange person slowly approaches with their hands in their pockets, almost like they've been expecting him and Joe Rob quickly speeds off. It's hard to tell if they are wearing a Halloween mask, or if their facial features are really that oversized and distorted in real life. If they are wearing a mask, it must extend under the shirt, because I can't see where the mask ends and their neckline begins. Number 7. 
It's 12 in the morning when this stranger starts creeping along the side of a fence in slow and even steps, as if in a deep trance. He has an old portable radio on full volume, and he doesn't say anything, just slowly turns the knob. Occasionally, he pauses long enough to stare through the fence without saying a word. His radio does plenty of communicating though, and this part is especially weird. The radio just so happens to say something about walking away here. They reach the end of the chain link fence and nothing separates the two. The video ends with a really long stare down that the strange man easily wins. He reaches into his coat pocket for something, and the cameraman bolts for cover. A smart decision. Number 6. Schwinn Protocol wants to remodel his dreary basement, which only has a dirt floor. After digging many layers down, he finds this rusty old entranceway that presumably extends even deeper. He doesn't really have a good feeling about this at all, but he needs to know everything about the basement before he can get the job done, so he has to see for himself what's on the other side. He lifts the heavy cement plug, and white orbs soon follow, though I guess they could also be dust particles. Either way, he is puzzled to find a wide cavern filled with darkness. As his light traces along the rough edges of the floor, he slowly begins to piece together some unnerving observations out loud. Uh, that's probably about a 13 or 15 foot drop. So definitely a bigger person wouldn't be able to fit down there. I can't, wouldn't even be able to fit a ladder down there though, so. So basically, this is a deep hole with an entrance that's too small for an adult, but just the right size to squeeze through a child. I'm not sure what this was really used for, but I do agree that it's weird to have a random hole in your basement that's easy to fall into and tough if not impossible to get out. To be fair, the YouTuber later wrote in the description that he thinks it was part of a drainage system that's no longer in use. Maybe he's right, or maybe he's just trying to explain something that he wishes he never saw. Someone could have spent their entire childhood down there for all we know. Number 5. This man claims he can make a wooden matchstick pass through a silver watch using nothing but sheer will. He focuses deeply for a moment and then proves it can be done. Put solid through solid. Thus. I'm almost positive that this is sleight of hand, but I'm not sure. I don't see cuts in editing, and it really does look like it was done in one smooth take. If someone can please tell me how he does this, real or not, I would greatly appreciate the help. Number 3. Here's a video many people never thought would exist in their lifetime. Your mailman could soon be replaced by this headless robot with legs that bend inward at the knee and rubber nubs for hands. Apparently, this design is supposed to put people at ease, but in my opinion, it does the exact opposite. Digit was designed to look like a human and walk like one too. I don't know about you, but seeing this two-leg delivery bot unfold from a self-driving car and then walk down the street to my door might be enough to make me start picking up my mail at the post office. Tell me if you feel the same way after watching this demonstration clip. Is this cool and futuristic or just downright creepy? Number 2. A Twitch streamer named Jake is visiting another country and enjoying the downtown nightlife. It's getting really late and he's about to turn in when two girls he's never seen before walk up with huge smiles and start dancing with him. They're acting like they've known Jake for a long time while this guy in grey lurks in the background. Jake doesn't mind the attention at first, but he grows progressively more confused until one of them speaks in English, so as not to alert the man nearby. Listen, behind you, there's a man. She needs to help us, okay? You can see he's staring really hard at the women with a serious expression. 
He's also standing way too close and looks to be within grabbing distance. When he looks over at them again, they try to play it cool by jumping up and down in fake excitement and acting like they don't even notice him. In reality, they are literally too scared to make eye contact with him, and they're turning to Jake for help. Yeah, he's staring at us. He's staring at us. Okay, 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 hold on. Wait, do you know that guy? Do you know that guy on camera? Jake hangs around for another few minutes until the man wanders off. The girls hug each other out of relief and quickly dart the other way. I really hope this man had second thoughts about whatever he was going to do, but something tells me he wandered off to find an easier target. This kind of video really shouldn't exist anywhere in this day and age, but sadly people like this creeper are still out doing weirdly bizarre things like this. Kudos to Jake for stepping in and putting a stop to it here. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you curious about what I look like in real life? Then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT to find out. Do you like my narrations? If you answered yes, then tap the follow button and thank you for your support. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. My music video for who am i now has been uploaded but do not watch it please 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 don't also don't forget i upload a new video here on youtube every thursday and saturday number one a group of hikers traverse the wilderness in quebec when they see a wild animal approaching the opposite way the snow is probably about waist deep and the animal is using the path just like they are the problem is it might not get out of their way, and they don't really have anywhere to go either. The only thing left to do is brace for contact. What looks to be a bear or even a giant wolf at first is actually a lone moose, which is almost just as bad because they are known to panic easily and can react with aggression. As a commenter stated, a moose is basically a semi-truck wrapped in fur. The group stands extremely still but this plan doesn't work and the animal runs straight towards them. <laughs> Fortunately, the moose had good enough instincts to veer away at the last second and avoids them. You can tell by its massive size that this animal would have had no trouble trampling them and taking their lives if it's so desired. I have been getting a lot of requests to analyze jump scare videos, so I did my best to only include those that occurred naturally without special effects. So play along and leave a comment saying which ones got you the most. 